action items, like what can people do? Well, there are, so do you start justice circles in your communities? Can you work with restorative justice? Can you work with Children's Defense Fund? Are there other organizations that you can work with? Can you start um, models of restorative justice within your church and open that up to the community? Um, there are a lot of things that you can do. Um, one of the things that you can also do is you've got a political voice, right? And use that political voice responsibly because there are 30,000 people in Tennessee who don't have a political voice. And then aside from those 30,000 who are incarcerated, there are 80,000 now under some form of uh, probation and control who also no longer have a, a voting political voice. And so one of the ways that we work and make our actions concrete is we work through legislation. Um, so now that people understand that we have three death penalties in the state of Tennessee, one very easy thing to do is start contacting your state reps and saying, look, our life sentences with possibility of parole in the state are 51 years. That's a death sentence for over a thousand people right now. And that matters because those thousand people, their lives ripple out, right? This hasn't created any healing. You know, an 18 year old who through shame and through bullying or whatever the situation was, who explodes and kills someone and has been incarcerated now for 20 years and could be a valuable member of our community. Um, who wants to restore, who wants to try to help heal, who wants to contribute, we, we get no place good by continuing to lock that person away the rest of their lives. So demand change, you know, demand an end to retribution if this doesn't work, you know. You can approach it spiritually. You can say you can make the theological argument. You can address it economically. I mean, this is not tenable at all from an economic perspective, you know. And, you know, what's so disheartening is that I know if I'm going to legislative plaza to meet with people, I know who I can meet with and have a conversation with that includes the conversation about human rights. And then I know representatives that when I meet with them, human rights is not even on the radar. They could care less, and yet they would consider themselves part of the moral majority. But if I want to get through to them, then I have to talk economics. I have to talk about the fact how low the recidivism rates are. I have to talk about what the actual cost of 51 year life sentences is going to be. Um, I have to show the numbers. And so one, prove that people will be safe, I get that. But two, show the numbers because that's what they care about. Um, and that's very unfortunate that if we're going to change the system, we have to change it on multiple levels and use many different means in order to do that.